ever since its founding in the late 1940s, Lotus has basically been laser focused on building just one type of car, a low slung, lightweight sports car. And it's, it's carved out a very dedicated and loyal but small following. Recently, the Chinese automaker Xili bought a controlling interest in Lotus and they've been investing very heavily in all new products such as the Electra and an all new high performance sedan coming out called the Amea. We'll see those vehicles on US roads about a year from now, late 2024. If there were a piece of tape over the steering wheel and I couldn't see the brand of this vehicle, I would have no idea that this is a Lotus. It, it could be a Porsche, it could be a Mercedes, it could even be a Buick. That's the downside of an EV. You lose a lot of the character and the personality of the vehicle. Traditional Lotus fans are gonna love the Electra because it does what all Lotuses have always done. It delivers really great, super powerful acceleration. Well, if you're a Lotus fan, here's what the acceleration is like. It'll definitely put you back in the seat. The difference is when you were in an older Lotus, you could hear that engine winding up and snarling and making all sorts of cool noises. This electric motor, it's really quiet. That sensation that you get from, the exciting sensation you get from a, a, a really angry gas engine, not there here. They, they, they probably could add some sound to it and uh, give you more of the real Lotus experience, but it's pretty fun to drive, I have to tell you. So the two new vehicles from Lotus are gonna take the company into not only new segments, but also new pricing territory. And it's gonna put them directly in competition with Porsche and Mercedes-Benz and maybe even Aston Martin a little bit. So the challenge is, do people value the Lotus brand enough to shop them along with the other established luxury brands in, in this space? The real challenge for Lotus is going to be to get their dedicated customers to come along on this journey. If you like Lotus sports cars, are you going to like a Lotus SUV? Do you really want to take your golf clubs with you? That's not what Lotus has been about. And so that's going to be their big challenge. It's a whole new Lotus, but will it be one that people love? Before the Chinese automaker Geely bought Lotus, a vehicle like this would have been impossible for, for that small British company to make but they're able to leverage the, the engineering and financial resources of a much larger company to develop this and, and the new Amaya that's coming out next year. It makes perfect sense for Lotus to go in this direction, but will it be successful is really the big question because it's gonna come down to marketing and, and seeing if you can get some of the older customers interested in it. Who knows if it's gonna work?